All right, it is time for a video of something that is uh, quite a few years in the making, or rather I've just been lazy and forgot to open it. Today uh, I'm going to take a look at the Play Arts Kai Final Fantasy VII Advent Children Vincent Valentine figure. Uh, as you can see, it is quite a big box, um, and yeah, it's it's the version of Vincent from uh, Advent Children, which is the movie, which is hands down one of my favourite movies. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I don't even, I, I don't even care uh, if it's seen as a bad movie. I love it, and yeah, this is a Play Arts Kai thing. Uh, we'll take a look at the figure thing in a second, but we'll take a quick look at the box. Uh, it's kind of branded after the movie and stuff. Now I'm not sure how old this is. The copyright down there somewhere says 2013, um, but that might, hmm, I'm not, I'm not fully sure. Anyway, th this is quite an old figure. Um, I've kind of had sat around in my house for quite a while and now I have room to display him. So the nifty thing about this box, and the reason you might want to keep the box even, is this velcro on the front. Uh, oh, that, that did not open as smoothly as I anticipated. And inside we can see some really cool um, artwork there of Vincent kind of staring out into the, into the sunset. And of course we have the figure himself along with kind of um, some kind of detailed uh, plastic window and stuff. So yeah, he comes with a couple of accessories, I think, guns obviously. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go crack this open, I think, and then once he's out and stuff, we'll actually take a look at the figure, BRB. So just a quick update, um, he actually comes in kind of two parts, so there's the figure with his accessories there. But also, on the back, uh, slightly annoyingly kind of taped to the back here, so I do have to peel off all this plastic, uh, is the stand that comes with him, which is incredibly useful. Obviously he's quite a heavy figure, so you do need a base and stuff, so kind of the arms attached to that, and hold him in place and stuff. So I just thought I'd show you guys before uh, opening it all up. Also that kind of tells you um, how to replace his hands and stuff, and how he holds things. Anyway, I'm going to go fiddle about with this and I'll be back in whenever I'm back. Alright, I'm back and I've opened everything up. Uh, so we're going to take a quick look at the various components and then we'll actually have a look at the figure. So, um, one thing that it took a bit of a wild setup was this stand. So it comes in uh, many pieces. That's the base and stuff. Those are fine. Uh, they just slot in. So basically, when you want to higher or lower it, you put it on like a different rung, so you can have you know really high up uh, poses or whatever. I tend to keep it to the third one because that's like his standing pose. Uh, obviously, if you want more aerial stuff, then you'll need to do that. Uh, you know, different stuff. Um, so these components here, as you can probably see, uh, actually have like bolts and stuff in them. Um, and so that was an interesting one, so you actually had to kind of tighten it using this little tool. Um, so there was actually a bit of assembly required, however, they can get quite tight. Now these are very loose, so I actually need to tighten those. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back, and as you can see, these are actually a lot tighter now. Um, and obviously with this tool you can, uh, you know, loosen or tighten or whatever. Um, and this is on kind of a bit of a pivot and stuff. And obviously that goes up and down as well. So yeah, so it's it's a really uh, solid base to be fair. Um, so kudos for them including that. And there's also there's a smaller head. I think just like maybe I don't know if if you don't need it as big or something. I've been using the big one just to kind of cover all the bases. Um, and then the other accessory he comes with is the gun and also a replaceable hand. Now I've gone ahead and put the gun in the hand because I don't think I'm ever gonna kind of just use this hand without having the gun. Now also on the figure, um, there is a holster there, in which case you can slot the slide the gun inside. It's, it's a bit finicky because the barrel is so long and everything that when you're trying to slide it in, it needs to go up to like there. There's not a ton of room, so it's a bit of a nightmare to put it in. And honestly, I don't think I'd want to display, um, I don't think I'd want to display Vincent without his gun, to be honest. It's, it just wouldn't fit as well. Um, so yeah, so going to the figure. Um, also, I'm gonna probably do some like better shots in a minute in the montage at the end of the video, just so you can, guys can see the various poses and stuff. I've kept him in a very neutral pose for now, just to show you guys. 
Um, so yeah, anyway, so starting from the head, his head has a bit of um, movement, but obviously because of this massive collar, you're not going to get a ton of uh, stuff, which is understandable. Now, his cape, at first, I thought was going to be a massive hindrance, and actually he'd have terrible range, but thankfully the shoulder bits do raise quite a bit. Uh, obviously, without doing anything with them, it looks weird, but like, you know, it, to do stuff like that, it looks a bit better. I mean, it's still a bit janky, but the thing is, I mean, Vincent's cloak is kind of torn and battered anyway. So, you know, you can get him to do kind of coolish poses. Uh, he's also got a uh, waist swivel, like back and forth and everything, which is nice. Uh, and he's got the typical kind of his legs will go forward and back bend at the knees um, and also the tips of his feet kind of come forward a little bit not a ton um, actually no I say it barely oh wait no oh sorry hang on so that's heel so his heel comes forward and stuff which is nice uh, and back so yeah I, I'm I'm looking forward to kind of messing about with the poses um, this so the the whole cape is kind of uh, rubbery ish or whatever Obviously, there's the aforementioned um, holster there. That's, you know, you're going to want his waist to be on the um, stand there to hold him because he's quite a heavy figure. Like, to be fair, he can stand on his own, but um, only in particular poses. Like, the cape is actually heavier than the rest of Vincent, I'd say. Um, and talking about the cape, actually, it's pretty cool. So, as you can see, it's a nice detailed cape and stuff. Um, also, it's kind of in two pieces, so you can have it come back a little bit. Um, and I think it kind of comes out a bit as well if you need it to, or it kind of folds back a bit. Um, it's not the most like articulated cape or whatever, but it, it does the job, honestly, because uh, it looks it looks like quite a dynamic cape and stuff. I'm going to put him in the holster for a second, because uh, I don't want to just keep manhandling him. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Um, as you can see, I've actually replaced his hand with a gun hand. I've kind of tried to recreate the pose there. It's not perfect, but like... Uh, it's um, it's definitely one of those figures I think I'm going to have to get used to, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, overall, you know, he's not bad. He can strike a ton of poses. Now, there are some interesting ones on the back. Um, so that's that's a pretty fairly standard one, but those two are quite interesting. The kind of um, kind of sprinting or uh, doing the Iron Man landing, basically. So those I'm going to give an attempt at uh, in the montage at the end. I don't know how they're going to turn out. They're probably not going to turn out great. Also, for those interested, this is number three. As you can see there, that's number three of the series. So there are other things. Uh, there's, there's Rufus Shinra, which is. I'm not sure who'd want a figure of Rufus, but okay. Um, and also Yuffie, uh, which, to be fair, I, I was tempted to get a Yuffie. And, well, to be honest, I was tempted to get figures from all of Advent Children, but I kind of let it pass. Um, also, in terms of price point, this figure is quite expensive now. I paid about £50 for it, which is quite a lot at the time, but this is coming up to about £90 or whatever, so if you are looking to get one of these, I guess... Now is as good a time as any to buy it. Anyway, we'll take a look a bit at the detailing as well. Now, he is slightly wobbly. Um, it's because, like, his feet aren't fully on the stand or whatever. But honestly, like, the detailing is fantastic. The face is pretty good. Now, um, obviously, because he's covered up a lot, basically all he needs is his eyes and his nose, and they look pretty darn good. The hair and stuff is phenomenal. Um... His, his cloak has like a slight uh, light brushing on it, if that makes sense. It kind of makes it look a bit lighter than just standard, and it kind of works. Obviously, he's got all of his belts, which are fantastic. Um, and the arm, obviously, it looks... I mean, it's shiny, but it looks dull. It's kind of painted in just the right way, that it looks a little bit worn, as it would be, obviously. Now, also, the gun I'd like to give a big shout-out to, if that will stop moving... Alright, it won't stop moving because it's tiny, but he does indeed have the charm on the end of his gun, along with uh, all of the detailing. Is that Cerberus? I can't, I th I'm pretty sure his gun is called Cerberus. It has been ages since I've played the game. Um, but yeah, and Dirge of Cerberus, obviously, was the spin-off game featuring Vincent, which uh, I do have a soft spot for in my heart. And then, taking a look at the back quickly, 
Uh, his cloak, again, is really well painted and everything. I like the sort of strands and stuff. It looks really messy. It looks really battered and worn and stuff, as it did in uh, Advent Children, and, well, as it did anyway, but... Yeah, this is a very accurate representation to Vincent in Advent Children. Um, I think so, anyway. It might be missing a few details. I know Play Arts Kai kind of has a bit of a bad rep um, among figure collectors as not being great or being slightly floppy or something. Admittedly, he's fresh from the box, so he could actually become quite floppy or whatever over time. But at the moment, that is a darn good-looking figure. Um, Something I've wanted to open for a while, and yeah, that that's about it, honestly. He doesn't come with a ton of accessories, but obviously the gun is what you want to display him with. I, I can't imagine anyone just wanting the neutral hands. Um, and yeah, he, it's just such a good-looking figure. And the articulated cape, honestly, is quite useful. It's not like super articulated as I said, but it, it'll, it'll adapt to anything. And even though it's split here, for example, from the back it looks a bit weird from certain angles like you can't tell it's split there it just looks like a part of it is further away or anything but yeah that about wraps it up so as i mentioned i'm going to do a bit of a montage now they're just going to be pictures um that i've taken of him in various poses or whatever i'll see how adaptable he really is i want to try the crouching pose i don't think it's going to pull off very well but, you know, we'll we'll see. Um, and yeah, thank you very much for watching. I'll leave uh, some like links to other videos or whatever at the end. And yeah, that about wraps it up. Thank you very much. I shall see you again in the next video. Until next time, goodbye.